Northern Mexico, April 2000. In the mineral-rich town of Nikon, more than 1,000 feet below the surface of the Earth, a group of miners drilling through a cave wall make a remarkable discovery. Not of precious metals, but something far more wondrous and mysterious. A glittering cavern, untouched for half a million years, filled with the largest crystals ever found. It's amazing. There are crystals that are huge, so big you can actually walk across them. And for these crystals to have gotten as big as they are, they had to have been growing for hundreds of thousands of years. It's a fascinating location. This is something you would think would only exist in the world of science fiction and fantasy. But the fact is, it's all too real. Measuring up to an astonishing 40 feet in length and weighing as much as 55 tons, the giant beams are the purest form of selenite crystal in the world. Crystals are the most orderly structure in nature. And they have the ability to absorb frequency and energy from objects around them. Now, it is my theory that these giant pylons have the ability to transmit and receive information and light. Only a few months after its discovery, a team of scientists was sent in to study this geological anomaly. They soon learned that Nika's crystal cave may be not only beautiful, but deadly. It's 90 to 100% relative humidity inside this cave, and it's always over 113 degrees Fahrenheit. You might think, well, 113 degrees isn't that bad. It gets 140 degrees in the deserts in Iraq all the time, and people live there. But the relative humidity in those deserts is 10%. In this cave, there's so much humidity, you can't sweat and cool your body off. I received an invitation to go on an expedition, an exploration of these giant crystals. I was aware of the heat and humidity, but nothing prepared me for what hit me when I entered those caves. I felt like I was hit by a tsunami of tremendous heat and humidity. I started shaking. I was scared. These are near fatal conditions. Due to the Crystal Cave's lethal atmosphere, the research team was restricted to 10-minute exposures to avoid being cooked alive. For gemologist Leela Hutchison, the most unexpected discovery wasn't something she saw, but something she heard. One of the things that I realized as I had to focus so intensely to keep my wits about me was this ability to hear a low hum. And I thought that was very strange. Nikola Tesla was quoted as once saying that we may not understand the growth of a crystal, but nonetheless, it is a living being energy from living giant crystals. In an attempt to navigate the unusual properties of the crystals within the Nika cave, NASA developed special cooling equipment, allowing scientists to withstand the cave's lethal conditions for as much as 30 minutes at a time. And according to their research, the hum emanating from the crystal cave may not be because its crystals are storing energy, but because they're harboring something even more unexpected, life. In the 2008 expedition, the NASA scientists went into the caves and drew out fluid inclusions in the largest crystals and found microbes that are considered to be extremophiles. Microbes that are living organisms, they're single-celled and they have the ability to survive and thrive in extreme environments. One of the interesting things about the extremophiles was 
There is nothing in our genetic database that comes close to what these extremophiles are.